Hi everybody and welcome back to my blog. Um, so I figured that my first you know, non-introductory entry should be one that sort of lets my viewers get to know who Suzanne Reich really is, you know, because if I'm going to be speaking up about really, you know, profound things, you know, be daring in what I say about serious world issues, then I need to ensure that you, my viewers, are trusting and not doubting my worldview of peace and justice and, and you know, things like organic nutrition, you know, obvious things that we all hope we have in common. Um, so, to begin, my name, as you well know, is Suzanne Riche. Um, it is a French name, and um, what else can I tell you? Oh, yes, I am a woman of fashion and luxury, but be not fooled, honey, I am on a mission. A and, and this mission starts here right now, right here, with you at my side. We can change the world. We really can. And so, I wrote a little, a little something that will hopefully give you some insight into, you know, what kind of belief system I have. Um, you know, just how I feel. You know, because how else can you tell, really? unless you're told. So here you go. <clears throat> I believe in truth, but also forgiveness. I believe in humility, but also pride. And I believe in a better world for all of us. A world wherein we can all share a love for goodness and virtue. A world without crime. A world wherein things like Facebook and Twit, uh, and Twitter don't have to exist because we can communicate without them. See, now I read this, this marvelous little article just yesterday that I found in the newspaper. I mean, it's quite comical, really. And basically, the author, she, um, she speaks about uh, well, she speaks about a, a website that she found and joined called um, quitfacebookday.com, and, and it exists. I swear to you, it exists. I went on it and I found it. You can even Google it if you want, or type it into your um, um, your URL address. Um, and yes, so quitfacebookday.com, and the catch is this. The catch is, um, you know, why join Facebook in the first place if you're just going to get addicted and quit after a couple months? You know, wh why? I mean, is it that necessary in your life? Really? Is it? I mean, isn't talking just that much faster than typing? I'm sure it is. I mean, I think I've even proven it to myself, if not everybody else who, you know, watches me type. So why not just, you know, pick up your Blackberry or go for an espresso or something, you know, more simple than logging on to Facebook or, or uh, uh, Twitter. Um, yeah, so, so anyway, <clears throat> that's sort of why I'm doing my blog the way I'm doing it, you know, and when I say that, I mean the whole issue around communication and 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 you know eye contact you know as i always say i mean it could it could just as well be my motto you know my slogan suzanne reach says <laughs> oh hi kitty hi hi honey um everybody this is kitty it's my cat <laughs> um oh yes my slogan <laughs> um is the eyes are the windows to the soul. I mean, they really are. They truly are. I just I just know it. Come here, you little rascal. <laughs> Sorry. We don't mind if she sits in, do you? Um anyway, so this Facebook thing, I found something 
really stunning to tell you, to share with you. Um, okay, so in 2006, in the Time magazine, there was an article about something called the News Feed, which is an application, I think, on Facebook that chronicles every move that every Facebook friend you have makes. So, I mean, if you just think, if you think that I write something to Karen and then Karen writes something back to me but Robbie sees what Karen wrote to me and then my response to Karen I mean and then Robbie gets angry with me and Karen gets angry with Robbie and you know it can just become dirty it can become a dangerous game you know because because this news feed I mean it even said in the article they all agree with me and I agree with them that it is an exclusive it's a breach of privacy that that shouldn't exist it shouldn't it really shouldn't it's intrusive I believe that it's intrusive anyway I found I found something else as well that I'll share with you. oh and the other thing I wanted to say is that you know Little teenage girlies, they go on to Facebook, they log on or whatever it is, and they sit on Facebook and they end up chatting to some bozo who's like, what, you know, 40? I mean, can you do the math yourself? It is dangerous. It is utterly, utterly dangerous, and it shouldn't be allowed. I mean, you can just imagine what, what can spring from a situation like that, which is why I told my daughter, I said, if you want to connect with the world, young lady, you can study politics or, or, or international fashion, but certainly not your Apple Mac screen with Facebook on it. I'm sorry, but it's, it's just not, not for my house, not under my roof. Um, anyway, so I think my point is this. I think that I, for one, find Facebook utterly dangerous, as I have expressed, and I'm sure that once you have realized the things that I'm saying, you will too. You really will. Because this obsession, this computer obsession, it just, it can't be healthy for anybody. It just can't. I mean, really. Do you think so? Do you think it could be? I mean, you can, you can comment after you've, after you've watched this video and just let me know what you think. But in all seriousness, it's dangerous. It, it can destroy lives. I'm, I'm certain of it. It can. I hope I'm being heard here. I really do. You know, if I had my way, every single viewer of mine, and this is not just a hint, it is, it is a recommendation. You will all go and sign out of your Facebook account right now, forever. Go to your little Facebook tab and delete yourself off of Facebook. I'm dead serious if you know what's good for you. Facebook suicide. It's essential. It really is.